Hey guys, it's Dennis here. Welcome to another episode of Just a Guy in the Spike. Hey, as I told you the last time, we're going to be doing some audio upgrade on my 2019 Street Glide. All the products here was ordered from American Heart Bag. I'm going to get some of these boxes open. I'm going to show you what the products look like when they came in, as well as I'm going to zoom in on all these boxes at the end and show you, give you the exact part number where you can go find it. And this is going to be a two part video. So it's not a real lengthy video. This first video is just going to be to show you the products that I purchased that I feel I wanted to put on my bike. The first item here would be these Diamond Audio compression horn tweeters. Uh, it is M075T. All right. The tweeters are not in this box, but I'm going to show you is sending you these cables and they send you these crossovers and capacitors on there already. The Diamond Audio did a great job at putting this little device together to block out um, a lot of your bass. So just a little disclosure guys, I am not a technician. I am not an audio guy. I'm just a guy in his bike in his garage that wants to do his own work. So with that being said, don't kill me if I get something wrong or if I don't pronounce something right or I don't explain it fully. You can, can Contact Diamond Audio. I purchased everything from American Heart Bag. You can contact them as well, and they will be more than happy to explain it to you. Or just go to your local audio shop when it comes to audio. All right. But the reason the horns are not in here, because they are in this box right here. And let me show you why. All right, guys. These are the Batwing Farron speakers for 14 and later uh, street lines. This is a stamp grill with those compression horns in there, those MO75T. These are the compression horns, the diamond compression horns. Uh, it's already stamped in the grill, has a bracket on the back to hold it in there nice and tight. Four screws is securing it. They already soldered the ends for you. As I was showing you with these cables, these cables actually connect to one another. As so. So when you're installing this on your back wing, you have tons of cable. Also, that goes on the end of this cable would be this trusty little guy right here. Okay? So what happens is you're gonna take this in, you're gonna connect this crossover to your uh, compression horn. Like I said, it's to block the base and keep you from blowing your, your speakers. What Diamond Audio done here, when they sent these out, they labeled them. They said, this end goes to the tweeter. They have it labeled to tweeter. I don't know if you can see that. And then this end says from amp. Okay, so your power coming in from the amp, it hits your capacitor, hits your crossover, comes back out, goes to your compression horn. Uh, Merritt Harbag did a great deal designing this. I love it. I'm glad they done it. I did not want to cut my back wing. I did not want to cut my interfering just to install some horns. Uh, in case I got rid of the bike and wanted to upgrade, I did not want to have to leave any of my equipment on there if I could take it with me. So that's the horn. We're gonna get this stuff set to the side. Okay guys, the next thing we're gonna get into is this power kit. This is a oxygen-free eight gauge power kit for motorcycles. Um, this kit is gonna provide that power to the next thing I'm gonna to talk to you about. Now, this next thing here, this is our uh, amp. This is a Diamond Audio HXM 800.4. That means this is a four channel amp. It is pushing out 800 watts. So this is a powerful amp, guys, for the system. Even if I wanted to add bag lids, I still have enough power to um, add saddlebag speakers. So this amp, I'm gonna get it open here. Package real well. All right, guys, this is this marine grade. You can get it wet. I'm not saying go out there and drench this thing in water, but some more to get on it, it's not gonna hurt it. And so, on top here, you know, most people say, Well, how do you set it? So, you have 
your power cables and your remote wire, your audio in. So how do you set the amp? Well, like I said, it's waterproof. So in this kit that comes with your amp, you see these Allen keys. These Allen keys, if I can get the right one out, you have this little top plate right here. I'm gonna take it off and show you, which you're gonna get a better view of it when I'm installing it on the bike. So I want you guys to see exactly what you're getting when you're out here shopping and you know what you're looking for. Because sometimes online, when I was looking at it, I didn't see the picture on the pictures where it was showing that this amp, I could set this amp. I was just like, uh, how you set this thing? And I saw where it said it was digital, but like I said, I'm not a technician, so I'm just assuming that, hey, I'm gonna plug it up, hook all my stuff up, and it's gonna tell me what to do itself. Ha <laughs> so, ha, So we get this plate off here, and here are all your controls. This amp also has a clipping light on it. That was one of the biggest selling points for me. Not only does it have, it's a compact amp, it's delivered 800 watts, four channels. It also has a clipping light on it to help you set those gains. For those guys who do not know how to set your gains and you're using your gain knob as a volume control, this will tell you when your system is starting to clip. So it's almost foolproof. So I would suggest when you're hooking this up, if you decide to do it yourself, when that light turns on, stop adjusting the game. Okay? Get this plate back on here uh, a little later. I'm just gonna sit it back up there and enclose this out back into the box. So our last thing is what's the biggest thing on the bike. It's just six and a half. So Diamond Audio, six and a half is MSPR 065, stands for six and a half. These are some heavy six and a half speakers, man. So, here we go here, guys. These are the six and a halves. Let me get them open for you. All right. These are the Diamond Audio six and a halves. Okay? On the back here, I'm gonna let you guys get a better look at that. On the back of these speakers, we have a vent. We have the part number, 400 watts at four ohms, man. Six and a half. You also have a vent here to help dissipate the heat. So, and then the front surface, the cone is protected. Um, so it, when it gets wet, it's not gonna destroy this cone. Something else I like about these speakers that when I open them up, because yes, I have opened them when I got them. I closed everything back up to show you guys. But when I looked at them, when I opened them, they have a rubber gasket around. A lot of speaker companies, they either don't put a gasket here. Some guys will put a foam uh, gasket seal, but Diamond Audio will put a rubber seal here. When a guy hears that Harley coming, everybody stops and look. And now when they hear the Harley coming, with those pipes roaring, now I want them to not only hear that, I want them to hear my sound too. So, with that being said, these are, this is my entire setup. Uh, I'm gonna get this stuff installed on the bike, and so in the next video, I'm gonna walk you guys through me installing it on the bike. By no means, guys, am I a audio technician, am I a mechanic technician, I'm just a guy who likes to work on his own bike. I have Thank you for watching this episode of Just a Guy in His Bike. As always, keep your shiny side up, dirty side down, and let's get out there and turn some wheels.